On Haiti, as you know, this has been uh, a long unfolding story. The heart of the story is the suffering of the Haitian people, and we want to see that brought to an end. But that requires a few things. Um, it requires a more stable political system uh, so that the country can function and function democratically. And for that, we need to see a transition uh, to, a, to elections, to a clear return to a democratic path. We need assistance, humanitarian assistance, development assistance so the economy can get, um, get built up, people can have opportunity. And fundamentally, we need to see security because it's very hard to do either of the first two things in, a, in an environment that is profoundly insecure. And right now, uh, you have in Haiti um, profound insecurity that um, uh, is being driven largely by uh, the action of gangs who control big parts of the capital city, critical infrastructure, et cetera. So we've been working uh, on all of these fronts. And as you know, uh, the United Nations endorsed some months ago um, a multinational security support mission to help the Haitian police regain control of security. As we're putting that together, um, and Kenya stepped up to say that it would lead this mission, we've brought together other countries that uh, are going to contribute to the mission. We ourselves are contributing significant resources uh, to it. In parallel, we've also been trying with um, CARICOM countries, the Caribbean countries, other interested countries, to help Haitians get back on a uh, better political path. I was in Jamaica just um, a couple of days ago with all of the countries from, uh, from the Caribbean, CARICOM, uh, with other partners, including uh, Canada, including France, including Mexico, all of this in support of Haitian-led efforts to find a political path forward, to get to a, uh, a political transition. I announced um, as well when I was in Jamaica that uh, the Department of Defense is um, doubling its contribution to this effort. So we now have $200 million coming from DOD another $100 million coming from the rest of the United States government in support of the multinational security uh, support mission. We have another almost $100 million that's been raised from other countries um, around the world, uh, and notably from, uh, from Canada.